This week, the University of Georgia football team concludes spring practice in preparation of the annual G-Day game. Saturday scrimmage offers excited fans and players alike a preview of what's to come this fall. After a month of practice, coaches and players share their expectations for the upcoming scrimmage. I mean, I hope a lot of people show up. That'll be fun, you know. The more people at that game, the more exciting it is for our players and the more it feels like a, a real game. And, and I mentioned that to the players after practice, that it'll probably be one of the biggest crowds in a while. And uh, it's certainly going to be on TV, radio's picking it up. And, and uh, you know, there'll probably be people here from around the nation that wouldn't normally be here uh, just because of some of the expectations. And, so, you know, so I said, I hope you play with some heart and some spirit, you know. You know, we really we just want to make sure that, you know, we get all the kinks out and stuff like that. And obviously in a real game time situation, which it will be at uh, G Day, we really want to see, you know, what kind of players are going to, you know, show off. You know, if it's a good, crisp practice or game where um, you don't have a lot of penalties and you don't have a bunch of fumbles and a bunch of, you know, things that ought not happen that time of the year. You know, I'm looking for a good, good looking uh, sh scrimmage, but uh, whether it's a high or low scoring, I, I think if there's a, a lot of scoring, I'd be a little concerned, but I think last spring was the most scoring we've had in a long time, and we ended up pretty good. You know. But uh, I just don't, of course, we want everybody to come out of there healthy, number one, and number two, we just want it to be a really Good looking performance by everybody. Well, I'm just looking forward to being a low scoring game. The defense played well on both sides. Like I said, I'm I'm happy. Like we we should keep a low scoring game. I know people want to see a high scoring game, but as a coach, like our defense a coach, he, he don't want a lot of points given up. And if, if a lot of points are given up, he want the defense to be scoring the points. So we're just looking for a low scoring game and whoever wins. Oh, you always want to win. You know, that's, that's most definitely. Everybody on the team is very, you know. You know, very competitive and things like that. So everybody's going to want to win. You know, something's going to happen. Either someone's going to get ran over. It's going to be really, really intense. Something like that's going to happen. And obviously, you know. If a guy has a great game, it'll get everybody's attention. You know, because it is in uh, a, you know, a true game. Um, and it's uh, it's also going to be the last impression that anybody makes this spring. So it's a big, it's a big impression. I'm thinking of it as, I mean, Making everybody, I mean, letting everybody know I could play 60 snaps. I could be a starter. So um, just trying to establish myself as an um, overall player. The G Day game is on Saturday, April 5th at Sanford Stadium and will kick off at 2 p.m.